it's me, X Canadensis, and today's video is going to be kind of a, like just chatting about the Junior High Rainbow High dolls because I have completed the set finally. It took me a while with these ones. Um, so like two days ago, I managed to complete Rainbow Junior High. I have them all now. And I used to do these videos, like, when I would complete a lineup, I would do a follow-up video of, like, my overall thoughts on the entire lineup, who my favorites were and stuff, and I want to start doing that again, hopefully, so I thought I'd start it off with junior high. One of the big, big reasons that I felt that I need to do this video, and I'm a bit embarrassed to admit it, but I was wrong. In multiple of my reviews, I said that the dolls can't articulate their legs outward, they could only go back and forth, but I was wrong. They can articulate their legs outward. They're just really, really tight joints that you have to crack. Most of mine had to crack. The only one that I didn't have to crack was Violet. She was fine. Um, I cracked them all off camera because I was just completely like, are you kidding me? <laughs> um, but yeah, I was I was wrong. They all articulate just fine. They just have kind of tight joints there. All of mine except Violet had that. So if yours also feels like it can't, or she can't like articulate that way, snap it. It's just scary because you feel like you're gonna break your doll, but just be careful, hold here and then pull the leg outward like this if you're gonna try to snap it, if yours is really tight. But it'll make a little popping or like a cracking sound and then it'll be good. Then it'll be good and your doll will be able to articulate. So that being said, now I have, the only complaint I have about junior high now is that they don't come with stands, that's it. Um, everything else is great. I still share my opinion from before that I'm kind of disappointed that they have the same makeup as the original series one dolls. Uh, I just feel like it would have been really fun to see like Poppy or <sighs> Poppy and Sunny both I feel like would not have been wearing this style of makeup still. I feel like Poppy would be basically no makeup at this point um, and Sunny would have like so much crazier um, and it would be really interesting to see what their style would have been but that's just kind of me like if I were to design these that's what I would do but I really like that they are wearing the series one makeup. I feel like it calls back to series one in a really cute way and series one was two years ago. I know they've re-released them a lot but they were originally released two years ago to see so for these to be like a fun callback to them without being just a straight up re-release is really cute and fun so I actually really like that these dolls are awesome they're really awesome and after playing with them for several days well playing with all of them for several days but some of them I've had for like a month like um these two I got like a month ago I think right could be wrong I think it was a month or even more ago um, and I really love them. These have been my favorite go-to dolls to like pose on the shelves. Not these two, well, these two for a while because I've had them the longest, but all of them. I've been carrying them around the house, posing them. They've been uh, making little cameos on other doll shelves because I've just been having so much fun with them. And I feel like they just articulate so much better than the like standard Rainbow High dolls. And it's, it's such a subtle difference in articulation too. It's very interesting. I don't know. They just, I'm really impressed with them. I really like them. Uh, their hair is also all really great quality. The only one that I'm a bit worried about because I haven't washed her hair out yet is Sunny. I haven't done extensive washing on any of their hair, so. But all of them but Sunny have super soft hair right now. Hers is crispy, but I feel like it's probably perfectly fine quality underneath. Um, I think the Junior High dolls are awesome. My favorite thing about them is just holding them in my hand and posing them. They also actually stand on their own really well, which to me is not an excuse not to come with a stand, but look. It's hard to tell that she's not balancing against anybody, but like, I swear she isn't. She's just standing on her own. It's fairly easy, especially once you crack the leg joint. It's really easy to get them to stand on their own. They're just really fun. They remind me a lot of when I first started collecting dolls with Monster High and I would carry them around my house and just try to balance them on things. That's the same thing I've been doing with these, just like petting their hair and balancing them on things. And I don't know, I'm just have, having a lot of fun with them. I really want to like photograph them. They are very inspiring to me. So I wanted to get into who my favorites are, although if you watched my Sunny review, you already know. Uh, so my number one favorite, and it's hard to pick between these two, I think overall my number one favorite is Jade. I just feel like they really hit it out of the park with her, and normally I don't super like Jade dolls. I like Winter Break Jade, Series 1 Jade is fine, Cheer Jade is fine, but none of them really stand out to me, and I like Jade in the show, and I like Jade conceptually. But a lot of times just it doesn't all come together for me. But this doll is absolutely precious. And my favorite thing is that, like like I was saying that they call back to the Series 1 dolls, one of the stages in production for Jade that didn't end up coming out was that she had a band-aid on her nose. There's some dolls that exist that um, were like samples off the production line that have band-aid noses. So it's like an official thing that was going to happen. It just didn't. And also I think the Toy Fair leak from February of 2020, she actually had the band-aid. No, never mind. 
she was a completely different doll, excuse me. Uh, there there was a darker skin version with like a completely different color hair. Uh, she might have become Karma, but I don't think so. Completely different style and hair color and skin color. But um, they eventually replaced her with this doll for some reason. But in probably one of her first stages of production, she had the bandaid on her nose. So it's really cute that I, I said this doll, but I meant Jade as a character. This character was the one that replaced. Um, and I just think it's really cute that they brought that back. Like they called back to it. Also, I just I just really like this fashion like I think they did a really good job on it so so cute so cute and her hairstyle rainbow high dolls very rarely come with hairstyles and I like styling their hair and stuff but I also love a good factory hairstyle because I am not good at doing doll hair and I'm also not as creative as a doll hair artist is like I love seeing how they come and like leaving my dolls with the hairstyles that they come in and then if I want to play with it I'll get doubles but I know there's so many um, people in the community that are super talented at doing doll hair but I'm not <laughs> I'm just not um, and this doll has, like, a really cool hairstyle. It's really cute. And also the gel that they used in her hair isn't crunchy. Part, some parts of it are, but mostly it's just, like, mildly greasy feeling. But it keeps its style really well. Super, super cute. I actually don't want to wash the gel out of this one because I just really like this hairstyle. It's so cute. And she comes with little extra pieces, like these boxer shorts. She even has socks. She's just really cool. This is a really cool one. And then Sunny, I really, really like Sunny too. I just think she needed like one more little thing to make her better than Jade for me. And to me, that would have been makeup, like I said, something like makeup or something else to make her a little different. I love the baby hairs. I love that they gave her the baby hairs. That's awesome. And I hope we see it in a future Sunny doll, like a, I almost said full grown Sunny. No, one of the high school level Sunnies, Rainbow High Sunny dolls. Um, I love all of the little details, like all of these cabochons that she comes with, and the jacket. Oh my god, this is the best clothing piece in Rainbow Junior High by a lot. It is so creative and interesting, and all of the little things inside are so cool. This is seriously like an unreal piece, and I can't believe they managed to do this on the budget that they had for Junior High. This is awesome. And she still comes with the backpack. All of them come with really cute backpacks didn't bring them over for this video but Jade's wearing hers like these are so cute I don't know these are just so fun these are really like reminding me obviously all my dolls do but a lot of my dolls I like to display them and look at them like art pieces but these are reminding me of how much I love just playing with my dolls and posing them and putting them in my play sets and stuff like I'm having so so much fun with these I can't recommend them enough if they're not the type of doll for you or if this isn't the style of thing that you like to do with your dolls then like I completely understand uh don't force yourself to like them just because I do but like I don't know. Especially if you guys have the LOL BTWs, which are another doll line I highly recommend. If you don't know about those, they're... Ugh, her glasses aren't on, right? They're these little cutie pies, and there's been two series of these so far, and they're just so darling. So they're basically just OMGs, but smaller. You know, they're tween versions. They're not called BTWs, are they? They're called tweens. Sorry, I really like the BTW name, but they changed it. Why did they change it? Now it doesn't fit. It's LOL OMG. Tweens? Doesn't work. Whatever. Anyway. So cute! So cute. I really love these. And the Rainbow Junior High dolls, I feel like, really hit the same spot. I really like dolls that are at a smaller scale but are still super articulated. And these are actually better articulated than the larger Rainbow High dolls. So that's like, yes. And there is a rumor, it's basically confirmed because it was um, listings found in Target system, that a Series 2 is actually coming out for these. And those sorts of things can change or get canceled. You, we don't know how early in production they are, if they're even coming out. But I really hope it's true. I really hope we're getting another Series of these, especially if it is Series 2, because I'd love to see Series 2 um, as little ones. They're so cute. Um, so anyway, I got kind of distracted. If I had to recommend one... Jade, if I had to recommend another one, Sunny, whichever one is your favorite, I would go with first, or if you only want one. Um, the next layer of ones that I would want to recommend are Poppy and Violet. These two are just really cute. They come with a lot of fun outfit pieces. Their theming is really well done. I think they're absolutely adorable, and I really like them. And Poppy's my favorite character, so having her at number three is kind of painful. <laughs> but I'm going to be objective about it. You know, if Poppy was the worst one, like in Cheer, I would say it. Um, and then my last two are Ruby and Skylar. I just feel like their outfit pieces aren't as interesting, their hairstyles aren't as interesting, and um, specifically for Ruby, her outfit doesn't make a lot of sense to me and I don't super like it, but I understand that other people really like it because I'm sure a lot of you guys hate the stuff that I like, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Um, but for me personally, I'm not as into her outfit and I really want to switch it around a little bit with... Um, she, she'll fit in things that other Rainbow High Dolls don't fit in, so I imagine I can use 
I can get away with some like Bratz, uh, Bratz boys pants, I bet would actually fit her legs perfectly. Um, we just need, we need an adjustment on her. And I really like overalls. Some people were saying, I think I saw it in my comments, just like, I don't think you like overalls. That's it. I actually love overalls. I think they're really cute. I just don't like the color and the print of the overalls, I think. But the red overalls would be fine, but with the hair and the sleeves and the other stuff, it like, I don't know what to look at with this outfit. I don't know. I don't know, but it, it, I'm sure it's based on something, so I'm sure it has merit and people do like it. And then Skylar, she's very cute, but she falls into this issue a lot where she fails to stand out. And this is actually, Skylar dresses the closest to how I actually dress in real life, which is just some kind of shirt and jeans. Um, so I think they could make her stand out in an interesting way by giving her some sort of jewelry or an interesting hairstyle. But I don't know, this top, this top knot thing isn't uh, quite there for me. I like that they called back the off-white stuff that was in her um, Series 1 doll, and they say C2022 on them now, which is kind of a fun touch. I wish they still said C2020, though, because that's when Rainbow High came out, so it would have been cute. Um, also, one thing I will say, because I know it's going to get brought up, and it's kind of weird, so in these three dolls specifically, it's kind of like their eyes are looking in two different directions, and I don't know if it's just mine. I've seen it in other people's doll pictures, but I've also seen others that look amazing, so I don't know. Skylar, to me, probably has it the worst, and to me, it's kind of cute, like, it's not bugging me, but I know a lot of you guys in the comments were saying it was bugging you, and I think I have an explanation for this, but it, it kind of doesn't make sense at the same time, because I don't see it at all with Violet, but I do see it with Skylar, and I don't know. Maybe it's because they have different eyes, but... Oh! Yeah, that is what's going on, I think. All right, I think we solved it. So these three pairs of eyes, I think just the way they're being made for these dolls, something about it makes them look in two different directions. It's weird. Um, can you see it? I don't know. It's very, it's not that bad. Like, it's not super obvious, but once you see it, you're not gonna be able to unsee it. But then these three, so Violet and Poppy have the same exact eye color, and then Jade has a different eye color than Sunny. These all actually, like, don't look that way. So I think it's, and maybe other people's, um, Poppy, Jade, and Violet dolls do have this problem. I'm not sure if you can even call it a problem, but I think it's just the way that they made these girls' eyes, and maybe it's just the first batch. Keep checking back. I'm not sure. I'm interested to see what the second release of these is going to look like, actually. That would be very interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to kind of chat about junior high. What do you guys think? If you have any junior high dolls, I would love to know, like, what you think about them, how you liking them, who's your favorite one, or if you don't have any yet, like, who's the one that's really standing out to you, and I would love to know why, too. Um, I just think these are super fun. Rainbow High generally doesn't, other than Rocker and Slumber Party, those are the exceptions, but they don't generally come with like a lot of interesting jewelry and extra pieces and the backpacks and stuff like that. But these like, they have like extra stuff with them, you know? And it really, it's, it's fun. Also a big thing that I love about these dolls is that they don't other than her they don't look like a billboard for a brand and I don't mind when the outfit is a billboard for a brand but when every single doll has that it starts to get a little bit repetitive but with these you're not really getting that like I can see things that are specific parodies like I I feel like I've seen these exact shoes these like these specific loafer heel things like from a fashion brand before but then like mostly no and there's not any huge logos like these are clearly converse and they have like rainbow and they have that good stuff but it's so small they don't have it as much except for um these so these three kind of have it you can see the off-white stuff on skylar you can see the Sp sparkle supreme stuff on ruby and then i don't really know what these brands are but you know <laughs> um jade has like brands on her too but like I don't know, except for Ruby, they're not, like, in your face very much, which I appreciate personally, because I feel like I just, they're more versatile, and they're more, like, realistic to what you'd be seeing people actually wearing, because of course you actually see people wearing Supreme, but most of the time you don't, you know? So these are just kind of, like, refreshing and interesting, and I really like them, and I feel like Rainbow High in general is going in this direction more, where they're not as much brand parody central, but... I do like the brand parody thing, especially because that's the roots of Rainbow High. It comes from Poopsie, and Poopsie had a lot of brand parodies. That was the point of Poopsie, was to have a lot of brand parodies. And I like them. I think they're really fun and sweet. Um, but I also really like 
what the designers can do without uh, blatant brand parodies because I think these are really well done and really really cute dolls. Um, so I just kind of wanted to talk about them. I did I did a video sort of like this for the PTWs just because I had a lot to say and I really I just think they're great. So sorry if this video is a mess. I like talking and you guys ask me to just talk to the camera sometimes so that's why I came here with you today. And I also just really wanted to right the wrong because I feel really bad that I told a bunch of people that they don't articulate like this because I am not exaggerating. I sat here and really did this like hard and I couldn't get it to articulate and it was driving me crazy and I didn't want to break it. And three dolls in a row that I specifically tested it on, which were these three, were super stuck. I I feel like I just didn't check on these two. And then with Ruby, um, I thought it was the overall, so I ignored it. But with these three, I specifically tested for it and I couldn't get it to work. So I was like, that's weird. It doesn't work. But um, I'm going to edit that out of my videos. Um, I feel I feel really bad about it. But anybody who bought those dolls and was expecting them not to articulate and then they did articulate, hopefully they were excited. I, it's okay. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Um, and for real, let me know who your favorite is. I would love to know. Okay, for all this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye.